Number 85, a 20 kilohertz uh, 16 volt source connected to an inductor produces two amps of current. And what is the inductance now? So we have to figure out a way, you know, current and voltage is related to inductance. So we can use a variation of Ohm's law here. We know that current is going to be equal to uh, the voltage over the resistance. Now, since we're talking about simply an inductor, the resistance applied is the resistance of the inductor. And instead of calling it resistance, what we basically call it now is we call it the uh, reactive inductance. Okay, but it's the same idea. So here's the thing. Reactive inductance now is a function, as we can see over here on the right-hand side, Reactive inductance is a function of the frequency and the inductance, all right? So what we can do now is we can basically get rid of this term and substitute now the 2 pi frequency times inductance. Now the goal here is to solve for the inductance. So notice, I can just simply cross my multiply this, bring the I on down, let's resize that, right? Because it's a little large. So we'll resize it on down to there, okay? And this is now the formula. So we gotta ask ourselves to find the inductance, we need three things, voltage, frequency, current. We got them. So we just plug it in. So this is 16 now volts divided by two pi, multiplied by the frequency, they gave it to us a kilohertz, but we need that in hertz. So it's 20 times 10 to the third. The current is two amps, we don't have to do anything. So now we just plug it on in, right? So the 16 now divided by parenthesis two pi, times 20 times 10 to the third times two. Close this parentheses. And this works out to be now 6.37 times 10 to the minus fifth. And those units of Henry's, if you want to convert it into micro or milli, you know, by all means. But that's it. That's the inductance. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Give us a hand, subscribe, like, all right? Even maybe mention it to your classmates. And we'll see you soon. Take care.